Well, hello there, my darlings, and welcome back to Let's Build Newcrest, to part two of the traditional 70s British house. Um, I had a lot of fun building this. I really did. It was very... I just had fun. I won't lie. Won't lie to you. It's very nostalgic. Um, it's so funny reading some of your comments. I, I have been absolutely pissing myself at some of the comments. You guys are hilarious. Um, I like that you appreciated my Timothy story that will be coming on a merch t-shirt near you very soon. <laughs> um, I've always said I'll go, I'm just getting straight into the building as well. Welcome, here we are, we're starting. Um, I've always said I'd probably do merch one day, but maybe when I, maybe when I reach, or if, I'm, I'm saying maybe, like it's inevitable, but if I ever reach 100,000 subscribers... I will definitely do some kind of merch. Um, that could be a contender for a t-shirt, couldn't it? Couldn't it? But anyway, today we are going to be doing the garden. We're going to be maybe just tarting up the the sides of the build a little bit more with some shrubbery and whatnot. Nothing too major. Mm, don't know what we're going to do at the front here just yet. Something at least. Uh... Yeah, I have no idea what to do there just yet. No idea. And then we'll get, make our way into the inside and we'll start decorating the inside. We might, like, have to do the downstairs today and then maybe tomorrow. Is it going to be tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow. I was going to be doing a speed build tomorrow. That speed build is coming on Monday. <laughs> I am not happy with it. I am happy with it. There's just a lot more detail that I want to do for the speed build. Um, so that will be coming on Monday. Is it Saturday today? It is. I'm losing track of the days. This quarantine is not doing anything for me knowing which day it is. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Um, so yeah, so the next part to this will probably come tomorrow. So today we'll probably make a start on the uh, the garden and around the sides, like I said, and the downstairs. And then tomorrow maybe we'll do the, the upstairs areas. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll see how it goes. I'll see how fast we can get this built. I'm just going to... Oh. Oh, oh, sorry. Itchy back. <laughs> Itchy back. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Let's get started. A few things have changed since last time as well. I came back to this just a minute ago and I was just like, eh, something's not right. And it was the layout for me. It was the layout. It was a little bit... I, it made more sense. I know one of you guys said this as well and I completely agree with you. It made more sense to have the bathroom on this side. Um, because I do want to put an airing cupboard in. Um, I'm not going to build it like a real airing cupboard. I think what I'm going to do is just put one of the wardrobes, like the walk-in wardrobes, and put it in this little area here. That can act as an airing cupboard. Um, yeah, I thought we'd do that. I thought we would do that. Um, okay. Yes. Right. Anyway, moving on. So, as I said, the family that lived here is probably just left with the parents now. Maybe they had one child. Yeah, maybe they had one child or two boys. Maybe they had two boys, but of differing ages just because it's only a two bedroom. So maybe they used to share a room and, and then the teenage son got to the age of 18 and his brother was like, I don't know, 11 or something. And he moved out. Um, And now the 11 year old's older as well. So he's moved out too so it's probably going to be an elder couple living in here um yeah that will give me a good basis to kind of work the storyline a little bit better for this build it really will so what can we call them oh what can we call them sheila one has got to be called sheila hasn't it because sheila has been a, a staple to this channel for quite a while <laughs> and people out there are like why are you so fascinated with the same with the name sheila I just am. There's a story behind that as well. But that story is definitely, definitely not for here. <laughs> definitely not for here. <laughs> um, Sheila and Dave. So Sheila and Dave live here. Dave's probably a retired taxi driver. Yeah, retired taxi driver. And Sheila was the dinner lady. <laughs> Sheila was the dinner lady in the local school. But yeah, I'm feeling this. Okay. So here, definitely want a little patio table and chairs moment going on. Um, nothing too bougie or fancy. They're kind of stuck in their ways, is Sheila and Dave. They are stuck in their ways. They really are. Dave's 
constantly down the pub. Trying to keep away from Sheila's moaning. <laughs> and that's where we're going to go with that. Um, Yeah, I think we'll use this one here. But what tone? Nothing too light. Or too dark. Uh, Maybe... Yeah, that one there. With the green... With the green parasol. Cool. And then with the chairs, like, I would imagine those... The iron chairs being out here as well. They're like these. Even though that is quite fancy schmancy. Maybe maybe Dave wouldn't be into that kind of kind of thing. So maybe just keeping it a bit more. They're a bit more... They're a bit too tradish. A bit too tradish. I think we'll have a little look at the... Uh, the dining chairs and just see what we can pull out. Oh, these here might do a bit better. They might, you know. I can see more of them being just plain like wood ones out here. I mean, those would have been good even. Yeah. In that. Yep. That's going to do. Oh, is this only a... I know. Right. I'm going to do four seats just in case they can have the little barbecues. Dave looks to put, put on a big barbecue. He likes to show off his meat tossing skills to all of the neighbours, which, by the way, would be frowned upon. Um, do not toss your meat in front of <laughs> in front of the neighbours, because um, you might find that the police will appear at your door. <laughs> oh, we're off to a great start already, aren't we? Aren't we? Mm, I wouldn't. Mm, yeah, maybe you would have a big bougie one. Yeah, he got it from B and Q, half price. On Boxing Day sales. He was absolutely made up. He was made up when he saw this. He's like, what? 70 quid for a full barbecue? I'm having it. I'm having it, Sheila. And she was like, oh, fuck's sake, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> but she let him. She did. She let him. Yeah, we'll plop you there. Plonk you there. This is a good space for a hose pipe. I would imagine. Sheila likes a bit of gardening. So does Dave, but Sheila will not have Dave let have Dave have anything to do with her vegetables. Because um Yeah, just for reasons that we can't go into on this video. <laughs> <laughs> right, content. Nope. Packs even. You silly bum. Face game. Always have trouble finding this. Right there. There we go. Yep, right next to the drain pipe. Stunning. Yep. Yep, I can imagine it there. Maybe a little flower pot just down here as well. Just underneath of here. Maybe something a little bit bigger. Yeah, something like that. Oh, it's got too many flowers in. Too many flowers. We just want a generic... Um... Do you know what? We'll just go for that. We'll go for that, but we'll plonk this one down next to it as well. There we go. Yes. Get on, Sheila and Dave. Right, okay. Okay. Yeah, there won't be any kind of fence there. Would they have grandkids at the minute? Maybe not. I'm kind of seeing the boys in them like really early 20s, maybe. Or early 20s and mid 20s. Or late 20s. How old did I say they were? 11 and 18? Yeah. <laughs> Just trying to be realistic here, people, okay? I am going to, however... Follow this just along in front of the house there. That there um, is a bit more realistic for what we want. And I've done a drain pipe there. Okay. Done a drain pipe there. Maybe a few little, maybe a flower box underneath this window. This big long one. In a just a neutral tone, if you will. Yeah. Do we want to keep it in that height? Yeah, we do. I mean, in that size. In fact, I'm just going to just size it down just one. Yeah, that's better. That's better. And we're pretending that these aren't um, shutters. They're just going to be um, architectural door details or something. Something along those lines. Yeah, cool. Now, I would imagine Sheila and Dave to be a kind of water feature couple, wouldn't you? Can't place the foundation under anything. Darling, you're not fucking under anything. You're going a little bit mental. Um. Oh, is it because this is registering as the roof on top or something? Build ceiling. 
remove ceiling. Is it because it's fenced in? What about if I just knocked a panel out and then did it? Hmm, that's weird. No, it's just saying it can't be built under anything. That's weird. Maybe we can just find a water feature instead then. They haven't got very... Oh, this one here would look cool. Yeah, this one here might do actually in here. I think this is going to be the only one that would kind of semi-fit anyway with the aesthetics. What colour to go for though? Because it it's quite Mediterranean um, colour tones. The, the grey one's not too bad. Yeah. That, that really goes. Let's get down to that level. That goes actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of... I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that, my loves. Okay. And here, we're going to do a little welcome that moment. Am I still got this filtered to base game or something now? What are you doing? Oh, it's because I'm outside. <laughs> I was like, why is it not filtering? My computer's broken. My game needs repairing. Wouldn't see that out here. I would see more along the lines. Oh, they've definitely got a dog or something. Yeah. So make sure that we add stuff in for a pet. Like a Pomeranian called Pauline. A little Pomeranian, little yappy Popper Pop Pomeranian. Pom Pomeranian? I, do you know when you say something so much, it sounds weird? That's what it's just done. Yeah, a little Pomeranian called Pauline. Pauline the Pom. I do like Pomeranians, they're cute. I like all dogs. How could you not, to be honest? And here, I wish we had like those little like greenhouses that are made out of like the clear like plastic do you know what i mean that you could put up against like that would look perfect like around somewhere like that it really would it very much would um i can't maybe i could just put that flower thing up instead i can't remember what that came with romantic garden no perfect patio no luxury party cool kitchen backyard there that there yeah, maybe something like this. Just in a plain wood. Maybe something a bit darker than... Oh, I forgot the darker wood's really warm on this. I wish there were some better colour tones for this. We'll go for that one instead then. We'll go for that one. It'll be fine. Yeah, Pauline loves to repot a plant or two. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. We've just used that over there. So maybe I'll go for a different one. I'll go for this one. Oh, it's not going to go up there. But oh, great, we're going to lift it with a nine key and hope for the best. Is that floating? It is. But what we're going to do then is get out the Aura MSP shelf. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll get this one. Let me just get that to the right height, my love. There we go. And then we'll flop you on there, my sweet. If you would. Thank you. Thank you ever so much. Um, thank you. There we go. Let's just get that in a better orientation. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. That's better. Perfect. Lovely job. Lovely. Yeah, cool. And then we'll do... Do we want to do a greenhouse, maybe? I know it's going to be... And it is on the short height. Maybe I could... Mm, there, because she won't be able to grow anything in it. She wouldn't because it doesn't work that way. Um, at, On this kind of like size anyway. She won't be able to get in and water the plants and stuff properly. To the size I want it to do. So, I, what about that object from... Get Together? Is it from Get Together? I think it might be. I do believe it could be. Yeah, this here. What about if I use this? Mm, I mean, that kind of takes up all of that space there. But, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling it. I think we're going to... How dare you? How very dare you? Right, if I can whiffle that in. But if we're going to be doing that, 
I think I want to get rid of the grass. Let me have a look. I mean, that would look really cute. It's a shame that we've got to get rid of the grass, but maybe they're just all about the patio. Um, I don't know. Now, do you know what? We're going to keep, we're going to keep the grass. We're just going to have a nice little area like this out here. We really are. And I'll use the, the smaller ones and dot them all around. Shall I use the, yeah, we'll use that one. One, two, three, four to there. We'll do a, we'll put a plant there because what I can now do is maybe put one of these in as well. Can I put two of these in? Oh, it's always like a, it's always a squeeze to get these ones in because you never know if they're going to be able to use it right. They won't be able to use that. They won't be able to use it. So I'm just going to stick with these. I want to make this quite user friendly and we'll just stick them all the way along like this. Yes. And then I'm going to put an, a plant, a planter box up here. Um, decoration. Plant a box of kind of this descript. What one? Where are we looking? Hmm. Yeah. I said this in one of my other like videos, but I wish we had more of this kind of thing. Like these wooden like planters. I'd like to see some more. Please, Sims team. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes, I do believe so. Um, and I think what we're going to do here is uh, do a couple of stepping stones in a colour that will match in okay with the... Do we get better light back here? Oh, this is the best light. Okay. Um, I mean, I kind of like that one. So what I'm going to do is do that. And I'm going to size them down and just do like a staggered moment. Oh, actually... We'll do one big, one small. We'll do it like that. Big, and then we'll go small. And then we'll go small again. And then one more big one. Giggity. Yeah. Just because I'm not going to be able to train paint this. So it just makes sense doing something like that. Okay. And then I'm going to border in the grass with the smooth keeper, I think. I think so. Have a look. Yeah, that's a bit chunky. <laughs> it's a little bit chunky that. So I think I'm going to use this one instead. Uh, in the dark brune. The dark brune. All the way along. Lovely. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Much better. And then underneath here, I think I'll just... Oh, I could use one of these bushes. Oh, we'll pop one of those just in the corner there. And then I'll put it in a a pot, a planter, like this. There we go. Yes. Yeah, lovely. Lovely, lovely. And maybe a few more flower pots just dotted around where the patio area is, maybe. Let's have a look. Let's have a little whiffle. Mm, and you need to look more outside plant, really. Yeah, these kind of things. But this is always... Eh, that's really cute. I like that. I want to go a bit understated with the colour of the flowers, though. Yeah, that's better. But then the wood tone's horrible. And I think we're going to have to stick with this one. This wood tone is... will fit in okay. With what we've got going on, anyway. And then one more just over here. Lovely. Yes. Yes. And then this area needs a little bit of outside lighting. So maybe that, like, lamp that looks like it's a security lamp. Where are you? Yeah, this one here. I see a lot of these in these kind of houses. Like, kind of above the door. You know what I mean? Let's have a look at the lighting out here. Yeah. Yeah, cute. That's what I would that's what you would see. You would see that. Right, and I'm just going to get an inlaid trim just to fit above that door there, because that's bothering me. Yeah. 
not in the right tone. Oh, why do you go all the way along? In fact, I'm going to do that all the way. Can we do it there as well? Yeah, we can. Do we want to do it at the front too? Yeah, why not? Why not, you know? Why ever not? Yeah, cool. Yeah, I think that's it for the garden. Pretty simple, but kind of realistic to how these gardens would be. I would have loved to have put a greenhouse in there. And I know I'm going to get people, you should have done it this way or did that and that. But I'm happy. I'm happy with how it's turned out. you just got to let the creative juices flow sometimes and just go with whatever you can do. So maybe another tree or two on these sides. So I'm thinking if I can put another one of these over this way. Like maybe about there. Nope, let's whiffle you around that way a bit more, sweetie. I don't want you cutting into too much though. So I might size you down just one. And then I'll put some terrain. I mean some landscaping around it. Yes! Yes. Okay, and then another one of those European peach trees on this side. And then what we'll do underneath the trees is just do what we did there. The simple bit of grass with a bit of daisy moments going on, you know. <laughs> Why not? Oh, and then what I am going to do, though, is one, to make it kind of safe if there are any fires. But also, I've done this on a few of my builds before. Where am I going? Um, Where am I going? I was in the right spot then. I'm going to use one of these in a red. And I'm going to make this look like a, a burglar alarm. Um, I think it would look better like there. Yeah. So that's the burglar alarm. Oh, yes. That's very realistic, that. Yeah, cute. Okay. Right, so we'll get to putting more terrain stuff underneath. I mean, landscape and stuff underneath there in just a sec. I think what we'll do here is... Um, just thinking. Maybe I could just whiffle this all the way along here. Into there. Can I get stairs on that bit? I don't think I can, no. But I'm going to try anyway, just for science reasons. You know, you've always got to try for science. See, that, I don't understand how, why you couldn't do that. I know it's, it's not allowing you to, but it kind of makes sense. Like, there's the bottom of the stairs and there's the top. Why can't we just do that? My goodness. My goodness. Right. And then I'm just going to trail a bit of this. Uh, what one was it? It was this one. Just just down here. A, a little slope moment. I'm sure they'll be able to get up that. I'm going to smooth it out anyway. But I did want to make this look a little bit more accessible from this way. So, oh Christ, look at the size of you. Sweeties. And then I'll just push that down just slightly. And I'll get rid of that pointy edge there. I'm not enjoying how, like, flat that looks. Oh, I can't do that because the fence. Damn! Oh, well. Oh, well. Sometimes you've just got to do your best, you know? You know? You know where it goes. Um, Guys, if, if you've got anything you could recommend to me and my other half on what... Uh, we can watch on Netflix. We really want to get into a series. Uh, and I want to watch something on Netflix. I think he's been recommended to like, is it called Ozark or something like that? But I'm not that keen on it because it's like, it, I've heard it's like a gangster kind of thing. And I'm not into that kind of business. Whereas my partner is, he loves that kind of shit. And I don't, I'm just not for it. So we need to be met in the middle or something. So if you've got any recommendations, then let me know. Let me know, my loves. I'd be really appreciative. I really would. Um. Okay. 
yeah, this is kind of looking a little bit better out here now. I think what I'm going to do is actually... Oops, sorry. Spinning around there. I'm going to actually put some flowers in these bits here. Just so it looks a little bit more detailed out the front. And nothing too crazy. Yeah, you will be nice here. Size you down. Lift you up. Stunning. Um, Size you down. And lift you up just one. One, two. Yeah, a bit of lavender as well. And then we'll go for a white on this side, I think. Hmm. Yes. We'll size you down as well. And lift you up too. Oh, she... Oh, Sheila is proud of those plants. But one of the neighbor's kids, I bet they destroy it. But they absolutely destroy it. Um, I've been hearing people say about the mailbox, the apartment mailbox as well. So I think I'm going to actually put that in. It does work. Um, is it called mailbox? Yeah, mailbox. Um, yeah, the apartment. Oh, that's the trash chute, my love. Where are you? Oh, do I have to go into debug to get it? I hope not because I do not want to do that. I really don't. But it looks like I'm going to have to, doesn't it? Give me one second. I'm just going to grab it. Okay. So, I've put it here. It's, yeah. We can just pretend that's kind of another kind of like gas or electric like cupboardy thing. Because in the UK, we actually have like letterboxes on our doors. And that's where the post gets put. Rather than a separate kind of mailbox. Some people have a separate mailbox, but very rarely. Very rarely. Um, but yeah, and I've also just noticed, can we appreciate the state of my hair? Uh, I've literally got shark fins. Like, what's this? What? What is this here? Um, I may need to look over myself a bit more before I get onto camera. <laughs> but I just don't care. So, <laughs> take me as I am. And I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. <laughs> but um, I just caught a glimpse of it in my monitor on that side. And yes, great. Great. Let's uh, let's record yourself in front of thousands of people. and Have hair like a, you've just been in a house fire. <laughs> but hey, that quarantine life, my loves. That quarantine life indeed. <laughs> uh, you are floating. You are very floating. So I think what I may do is use you instead, even though it's not really that realistic for this kind of build. We're going to do it anyway. That's a bit better. It's just mainly to hide the awful way that the trees snap to the train that's risen. I wonder if that was even like a... A question like when they were talking about terrain tools and stuff like with the objects. I wonder if they were like, oh, are we going to be able to like morph and pull down the like like objects into the terrain and stuff. I wonder if that was even in their um, kind of like, I don't know, briefings or whatnot. I wonder, oh, to be a fly on the wall. If I was a fly on the wall, I would literally be ear wigging in I would be shouting out all my recommendations <laughs> it's just this little fly on the wall like who keeps saying that <laughs> seamless windows <laughs> who the fuck was that <laughs> yeah I think we're done with the um the outside here I am going to put a couple of street lamps in and I'm going to try and what did we go for over here? I don't think we did any there. No, we didn't. But for here, for some reason, I really want to put a street lamp in. But the street lamps, they haven't got the perfect looking one to... But these here were probably in my head. I mean, we could put one there. I'll move the bin and I'll put another one like there. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> yes. These are very British looking street lamps in residential areas anyway. Um, 
for sure. Yeah, cute. Okay, I think we're done. We're done with the kind of exterior. I'm going to terrain paint this up a little bit more as well, just to really fancy it in and make it sat into that landscape and just go across this terrain paint here. And then we'll go into the inside and start decking out the inside too. Okay, so I've gone ahead and picked the wallpapers and the carpets and everything else for the interior, including the lights and whatnot. Um, yeah, this is the kind of vibe we're going to go for. Now I do, I know I said that there wasn't going to be a fireplace in here, but one of you lovely people reminded me of the kind of gas brick fireplaces that you would find in these kind of builds or houses. So I think we're going to go for this one here in like a really ready brick, which was very, very now in the 80s. These kind of fake fireplaces were kind of put in places. And yeah, we're going to go for that. So the joys of it, I think it's definitely going to have to be this one. Oh, yes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's going to be the right orientation because I think I'll put the TV in that corner over there. Um. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm always surprised as well. I'm going to say this too. I would love to see some stairs with carpets. Like, I'm not really into carpeted stairs. I do like wooden stairs. I do. But you do see a lot of carpets. Even with like a carpet runner in the middle with like the, the carpet bars, you know. That's what I really want on my own stairs. I'd love to see that in The Sims 4. Uh, also putting the banister on it's crept into that window like right there which is fantastic i love that love it so yeah that's great um i would love a door like underneath the stairs can i size you down nope because <laughs> you'll look very very weird <laughs> like, i would love a little bit of storage like underneath there but we can it's the sims that it would be um realistic for this house but we're not going to do it um i think we're going to start off in the living area i think we'll start off in the living room so sofas are definitely going to be something from the sort of 70s or not 70s 80s maybe not this one there is that other one that could probably work in here as well i mean you would look good in here in that tone i mean that fits in quite well actually i'll leave you out but i still want to try this one no, that one's a little bit too, um, that's a little bit too fancy. That's a little bit too fancy. So I think we'll stick with this one. We'll pop one there. The TV's going to be like in that corner. Oh, I would love another one in here, but it's just not going to fit. It would look weird. It would look weird. So I'm going to pull this out just a little bit. I'm going to pull you out to like there. And I'm going to put two armchairs in here as well. Uh, maybe just pick, maybe it's like a three-piece suite. So pick the same armchair. Uh, oh, no, I don't think they, have they got a matching one with this? I can't remember. Hmm. Have they? I don't remember. Let me have a little jiffle through. See if I can find it. I'm, did they... I don't remember. Right, I'm going to have a little look for it because I can't see it at the minute. Yeah, they kind of did. They didn't have the same kind of matching uh, swatches because, you know, Sims. Um, but I think this one here would do very well. So I think I'll put maybe one there. Should we put them right next to each other? Sheila. Sheila and Dave like to sit next to each other. Is it Dave? Yeah, Sheila and Dave like to have a little moment next to each other there lovely yes mm -hmm. and mm, i'm thinking i'd like a bookcase in here but that might have to go back here it might not be usable i was thinking of maybe putting a bookcase there and the tv like there would that work let's try for science it's the only way we can figure out it's just by trying for absolute science. Um, maybe not you. Yeah, maybe something more like this. What colour though? Uh, but we're not going to try and matchy matchy things up in this house either. We're just going to make do, which is what a lot of people did, was make do with what they had. 
Yeah, I think so. I think we're going to put it there. And I'm going to put the TV. We're going to use one of these. Oh, I would like... I wish there was a bigger, older one, you know? I wish it was this one here, but in a bigger size. I can't size it up because then it looks like that. Um, which, when I was young, that's how TVs looked, people. That was how TV looked. Uh, I wouldn't see them having a big, bougie, flat screen. Nope. Yeah, we're going to use this. Can I not... Oh, for God's sake. Right. Is that cutting into the window that it is? So I'm going to put it there. And then move this back again. That's a bit too... Oh, no. There we go. Yes. Yes, that's better. And then curtain-wise, maybe definitely going to have to be some kind of ruffle going on. They would love a ruffle. Would Sheila would absolutely kill for a ruffle. Um, I'm just trying to sort of... Ooh, even though that matches in really well. Or can we? Oh, God, I think we're going to. I think we're going to. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it, but this does need to come out now. Because it is cutting into that curtain. Awfully. Yeah, there we go. Oh, hell. Hell! Trying to get a screenshot from this as well. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck with that, Aiden. <laughs> it's so hard. I've never had such difficulty of getting screenshots um, with this series. Like, Let's Build New Crest has been the hardest thing for me to get a decent screenshot from. Because sometimes I leave things half finished and stuff, you know? It's like, oh. Especially the Newcrest Promenade. I had to like... Yeah, I had to bring in fake buildings and all sorts for that one. Um, Right, it would be some kind of cabinetry. It really would. So it would need a little bit of glass frontage going on. I mean, that one was perfect. Maybe if I can size it down. Yeah, we'll size it down. Oh, it fits in there. A dream. We'll size it down and slot it in. And I will change the colour of it to a bit more of a lighter. Lighter? Oh, they, they loved a bit of mahogany, though, didn't they? Maybe we'll go a bit more mahogany with it all. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> that is 70s. Oh, God. Is that 70s? Okay. Um, 70s coffee table could go a little bit more to this shape which is my favorite coffee table in the game but it would just really suit in here does it come in a darker mahogany tone i think that one's going to be the one it's not the perfect i mean it's a different tone but it's mahogany or it's a shade of can we go maybe a bit darker actually as much as i liked that yeah i think that one's going to be a little bit better a little bit better. Okay. Lovely. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then... A picture up above here. Maybe pictures of the family, actually. So I might even get in that cluster of photographs from... Is it Dine Out? Yeah, I think it's from Dine Out. Cluster of photographs. It's a bit big. I'll size you down just the one. We'll plonk that there. Yeah, I think so. Can I, like, do the these as well? Will that look weird? I know there's vampires on them, but... We can just to pretend that they're not. They can be old school, school photographs from, like, the early 90s or something. <laughs> we'll do that. Um... And I would imagine Dave does like to play on the computer a little bit. He's got an Xbox. He's got an Xbox 360. Even though it is um, 2020. But nothing wrong with that, by the way. If you've got an Xbox 360, you do you, boo. You do you. I am not going to judge you. I'm just going to judge you for playing on console. I'm sorry. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I play on console too, okay? Don't jump down my throat. Right. And here, I'm going to put a single... One in those tones, which were the blue. Was it that one? No, nope, it definitely wasn't. It was that. There we go. Stunning. 
that tone. Oh, that's lush. That. <laughs> lush. Right. And then... Uh, no, that's the wrong... It's the perfect colours, but... I need something like that with lots of drawers. We haven't got anything like that with lots of drawers. That's the thing. We have not... We have not... And we're not going to get... That looks a little bit too up to date anyway. So maybe just using this one. Does that come in a bit of a better brown? That's a bit too orangey, isn't it? Well, it's not too bad. It is very orange, but I think that's the one we're going to have to go for. In fact, we'll go for that. We'll go for that, and I'm going to put a nice lamp on that. A nice little lampy moment. We will do a table. We'll do a floor lamp in here as well. Um, I might pull the floor lamp out now, actually. And I will whiffle the floor lamp into this corner, I think. Um, what do you look like? I mean, that's not too bad at all. I mean, it's very... Yeah, if I can put it like there. Let's have a look. Let's have a little look at you. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yes. In here is going to go a grandfather clock. They loved a grandfather clock back then as well. And then up on top of here... Ah, oh, I've just thought they don't... Oh, no, it does fit up there. Okay. Um, Yeah, that one. Or that one. That one. Little CD player moment. Stunning. Up there's definitely got to have some plates on the wall. They loved to show off a plate on the wall. So we'll do a nice little plate on the wall over there. Where am I, what am I doing? Decorations. Wall. <laughs> and then they're right down the bottom somewhere. Yeah, the last one. Oh, oh, I thought I was pressing the Windows key then. I wasn't. Yes. I mean, there would look good with a mirror up there, but I'm going to have to take the wall, wall off to do that. So I'll do that off of camera, but we will put a mirror up there. And in here, we're going to put a grandfather clock. Oh, my office is very warm at the minute. Very warm indeed. Is that? Yeah, that's a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Lovely. Like so. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Yeah, I think we're done with the living area. Done with the living area. I'm just going to go off of camera and put a mirror up on the chimney breast. And then we'll make a start on the kitchen. Okay, so we've put a mirror up here. But I've also done a thing. Um, This is a serving hatch. <laughs> or supposed to be. It's supposed to be a serving hatch. <laughs> um, I see that quite a bit. Usually it goes into like the dining area. But I know that some people like to eat their food in front of the TV. So yeah, we've put one in there. And I'm going to hang the plates up here. I thought that was quite a nice little, a little touch. A little bit of detail going on. Loved it. Okay. Yes. Right into the kitchen. Kitchen is a little bit traditional. But I'm not going to go down the route of using it so it looks like really scuffed and whatnot. I'm just thinking more along the lines of this kind of thing. A very traditional looking uh, kitchen. But maybe in this kind of darker mahogany wood would look cool. We'll do that. Right, the fridge is going to go... Let's get the grid on. The fridge is going to go there. Oven there. And then we're going to bring it round to the side here as well. Um, so let's get some different shapes going on. Love the fact that it changes colour. So great. Thank you. Doing that. And then the washer and dryer can go there. And then the sink can go there. Stunning. Okay. Well, let me change the colours of these. Don't know why it's done that. But, you know, Sims. There and there and there. Lovely. Oh, yes. Right. Fridge. Just a norm. Yeah, the one like this. Lovely. In a white. Just a nice white fridge. And we'll definitely use one of the older looking cookers as well. Or oven. Whatever you may call it from wherever you are from. Yeah, we'll do that. And then here we were going to do a washer or dryer. I wish that you could like pick the washer and dryer from like the bathroom or the kitchen or something you know rather than going into activities and skills and recreation <sighs> recreation 
Yeah, we all like to do our wash our bits recreationally. It's one of my favorite pastimes. And we'll do white it here as well. Or that color. Is that even the same color? It might be just the light throwing me off. Um, come back down, darling. Oh, they've got coin slots on. Silly bum. I don't want coin slots. There we go. Oh, they've got coin slots on again. Am I choosing the wrong one here? I am. So let's pick that one. There we go. Right, we got there in the end, didn't we? Didn't we? We'll put the washer and dryer there. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. And then I'm going to hang those sexy plates up there. And we'll start putting the cupboards in now. We're going to do a big wall of cupboards all the way along. Loved a bit of cabinetry they did. And I think what we're going to do is do a dining table in the middle of the kitchen. Um, yep, that's what we're doing. <sighs> cupboards. Cupboards, 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 cupboards. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, is it that one? No, it's not. Where are you? This one. In that tone. That is correct. That is correct. Um, we'll do it small all the way along to there. Ah, oh. the only reason I don't want to do big ones there is because it just covered the window and it looked weird. But we do need to get some more substantial looking cupboards in here. Maybe we could do that here and get rid of the plates there and put the plates somewhere else. Because here is going to need another small one, same as there. So yeah, we'll hang those plates there. God, those plates have been moved around. They've been moved around all over the shelf, this one. Yeah, there and there. Yeah, that's definitely screaming. Absolutely screaming 70s. Ah. That was even more half-assed than the one I did yesterday. Yeah, just a normal generic silver sink. Stunning. Stunning. All right, let's get a dining room table and chairs in here. Probably more of a circular table, I would imagine. So, I know that they've got quite big ones. Giggity. Yes. What tones do you come in though? That's not too bad. That, in fact, that's going to work. I'd love to see the circular ones with like tablecloths like these and the smaller ones. I'd like to see a bigger one with a big tablecloth on. That would make me moist. Um, And tables and chair, I mean chairs... I would probably imagine them having those like seat cushions on them like this. Does this come in a that tone though? That's not too bad at all. Oh yes, that's going to work. Do I want to do six in here or do I because it's going to be a very tight squeeze. That's what they always say. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I mean it looks a little bit weird but I think it's going to work. I, w I wish I could just to, no I'm gonna keep it like it was I was gonna like size down the chairs and like make the chair kind of sit where it wants if you know what I mean I've done that trick quite a few times but I just want this to be usable for you guys so I'm gonna leave it like that and it doesn't look bad it doesn't look bad it's just a little bit of a weird chair spacing but it gives me enough room around the edge to be able to get the, I know the sim will be able to use that you know Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Anyway. um, What else can we get in here? We need some... Oh, shit. I didn't put a dog bed in. Maybe I can put the dog bed out here somewhere. Yeah, maybe I can put the dog bed in the kitchen. I'm going to put the door there as much as I detest that. Because they... Oh, no. I suppose it's sliding, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, I'm going to put the dog bed down there. So let's get a dog bed in. For Pauline the Pomeranian. The little shit. I can imagine her like being really yappy, but like bites at everybody's ankles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get out two full food balls as well, so it looks like food and water. And we'll get a little mat to go underneath of it as well. Stunning. Stunning. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, right. I'm going to get out some pieces for the kitchen counters now. Definitely need a microwave. We'll put that in the corner. 
Oh, will it not sit on the corner? It will. Yeah, we'll sit that one on the corner. We've got space there to cook on. We can decorate this space on this side then. Um, No dishwasher either. <laughs> nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dave does not believe in dishwashers. He says he's got Shirley for that. <laughs> I'm joking, but that is what the mentality of some people that age would think like. Not all of them, but a lot of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little dish rack there. And... Do you know what would look great here? Those, like, pots with all of the um, utensils in, like the ornate, like, china pots. I can't remember where they are, though. I think they're in clutter. I think they're in clutter rather than there. Where are you? I remember the... Yeah, I like this. These would look... Oh, definitely. Oh, that's screaming 70s again. Should we get two? Can we get two? Yeah, we can get two. Stunning. Yeah, she does like a bit of bacon, does does Cheryl. Loves a bit of bacon, Shirley does. And I might get like this. Will these... Yeah, I'll put them like up there. Oh, great. That's the perfect tone. I know it's like the wrong place for them, but I think it. I can't put them down any lower. We'll just pretend that those are like blinds that you could pull down or something. Yes. We'll keep that side free because I do want them to be able to use that space. I might, however, just get a few little knives and forks on it. Um, Where are you? I always struggle with finding these as well. Go like this. With the magnet strips you got from Betterware. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know if you guys remember Betterware. And here I'm going to whiffle this on top of the washing machine. Even though I probably think that this may stop the washing machine from working. We're still going to do it. Oh, shit. Do you know what I forgot? A washing line. Oh, I'm going to get rid of one strip of this and put a washing line in. Hoping that will fit. Clothesline. Hoping it will fit in. Oh, it does like a dream. Yes, yeah, so Shell's still got enough space to grow a few bits, but nothing too much. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that is much. Oh, God, I can't believe I forgot a washing line. It's a staple in a British garden. But we've got like the cross shaped ones as well. We do with a lot of them. I'd love to have one of them, actually. Why haven't we got them in game? Why have I never questioned that before? No idea. No idea. Right, a rug. I know people's like, oh, rug in the kitchen, but 70s, remember. Um, Maybe something like this. Wicker. They loved a bit of wicker, didn't they? Is that going to be too overkill if I size it up? Not in that colour, but I think that might be all right. I'm going to mute the colour down just ever so slightly. Um, Can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then a nice little rug here as well. Just to wipe their feet on when they come in. Um, Have you got like a... Just a normal... Yeah, there we go. Just like that. I know they've got one outside as well, but me. Um, I think what we'll do is leave the hallway to the next part. And we'll just do the... Uh, the bathroom today. Just so we've got a bit more to do next time as well. So we've got the hallway plus the landing. And the two bedrooms and bathroom next time. Just so we've got a little bit more to play with. Because I don't want the don't want it to be too short for you. So yeah, we'll leave that up. We'll leave the main hallway for next for tomorrow. And we'll concentrate on getting an absolutely fucking awful bathroom suite in here today. Should we should we go for the green? I think we should go for the green. Do we go for an avocado suite? <laughs> you bet your fucking nearly we do. <laughs> um Oh, it doesn't match. I forgot that. I forgot it doesn't match. Maybe we'll go for a pink suite instead then. Yeah, we'll go for a pink. I don't know. Do we get a pink toilet? I can't remember. No, I don't think we have. Let's have a look. 
Um, colours. Pink. No, only the potty. Oh, no, that one's pink. Oh, stunning. There we go, then. Loves it. Uh, okay. Yep. Pink bath. Pink toilet right there. Oh, I don't know if we've got a pink sink, though. I mean, that one won't do too badly in here. It's more commercial, that sink, but I think we're going to use it for this lot. Just because it's got pink underneath. In fact, I'm going to put the toilet there. And put the sink there. Yep, we're going to do this. We are. You bloody watch. And I think underneath this sink, actually, what I'm going to do is put in the um, the bucket with, like, the cleaning stuff in. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, I wish we could have, like, loo holders as well. Like, the loo brush holders and things. <gasps> that would be epic. Epic. And then a little toilet roll holder. Cabinetry up here for sure. Um, Something along the lines of that. Oh, God. I'm going to have to lift you up, though, and I. And we'll do this in a... Not a pink. We'll do it in a white. We've got to keep this looking classy. <laughs> uh, and then here, I'm going to... Not you, you're too... Yeah, this one. We'll put you there. Lovely. We'll do a pink bath mat underneath here as well. Maybe not that one. This one. Stunning. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, queen. And just a normal little, yeah, white hand towel there. And I'm going to put a blind on this window. Maybe to the point of having it as a... Oh, they're always so big. Look at the size of that. I know I'm going to size it down, but... It just bothers me how big they are by default. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Can we fit? No, we can. We'll do that on the upstairs one. Because we'll do a shower upstairs. We'll keep the bath down here. Oh, that came together really easily. Any more details do we need? Oh, we need a towel. A towel rail. Maybe we'll have to put the towel rail underneath the window. We'll have to put it underneath the window. Um. Okay. And we'll do a pink towel as well. Because Barb is all about matching her stuff. <laughs> She's all about it. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Lovely, sexy, classy pink bathroom. And obviously, we've got the 70s slash 80s kitchen going on. Stunning. We'll do that hallway tomorrow. And then we did the living area. Oh, that looks really cute, actually. I think I'm going to put a plant on the coffee table. And maybe go and find the remote from Debug. I'll do that as well off of camera. Just to get a little bit more detail in here. Um, I would have loved to have put a table in between here. I might be able to squeeze one in. Let's try now. We're here, aren't we? Let's try. Um, the one I had in mind in my head then was this one. Oh, God, look at the size of you. Look at the bloody size of you. That's not going to work. I thought it was smaller than that. Maybe I can size it down. What am I doing here? Get down to that level. No, that's the wrong one. This one here. In that tone, I'm going to size it down and plonk it just there. And whiff all this just a bit sideways. Yeah, the room's still fine. The sim will be able to get around that. Yeah, and I'll put some magazines and stuff on there. But yeah, cool. Okay. Ta-da! We are done. We are done with the most of the interior from downstairs. Tomorrow, we'll make our way upstairs after doing the hallway, um, the entrance hall. But, yeah, this is coming together, this build. Um, I think... <sighs> I think Sheila and Dave are going to be absolutely made up at moving in, in this, um, into this building. And, obviously, next time as well, I'll, I'll probably make Sheila and Dave off of camera and I'll just introduce you to them uh, next time. We'll do it that way. But yes, thank you very much, everybody, for watching today. I appreciate your faces. 
leave me some lovely comments in the comment box below as always i will try and reply to each and every one but until tomorrow i will see you then goodbye